Hello, beloved Earthlings. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good to see everybody. Fairy Bell Cleanse, Fairy Bell Cleanse. So good to see everybody. Had to take a kind of a day off, had the Dharma Wheel started yesterday, but then things got chaotic and I had to take it down. Uh, just like the energy yesterday. A little too much, a little too much. Uh, some of the messages got out to those who needed them, and it was only specifically for those who needed them. For the rest of, of, of everyone else, we needed a day off. All right, so here we go. We've got the shuffle going, getting all the cards. Oh, well, it looks like there's our card of the day. It just flew out. You guys just saw it. Okay, when I talk about, hey, cards flying out, there it is. So, card of the day, and we're already going to talk about Rahu. The head of Rahu is floating around trying to eclipse the sun and the moon out of the sky. Man, I was trying to talk about that, you guys. Rahu, the head of the dragon, okay, is flying through the air, eclipsing the sun and the moon, okay, blocking out the sun and the moon, causing an eclipse, creating mental confusion. This is how we're starting it. This is how this is how the daily Dharma will is starting with Rahu. Okay, you guys, this shit's serious. If you saw my uh, other video yesterday off of Instagram and Facebook. We were talking about the malevolent magic that's being used against us. Okay, the cards were showing it. Okay. So, looks like we're going to continue on with these things that are keeping us up at night. These things that are stoking our darkest fears. That's what this Nine of Vajras, Nine of Swords is about. What are our darkest fears? Okay, we're having to actually literally confront them. Okay, okay, Rahu, when he transforms into his enlightened self, okay, after he attained enlightenment, he became Rahu La, okay, and he was a lord. La meaning lord, okay, so then Rahu La, instead of being this angry, scary ass, half snake, half um, Kritya, no, not a couple, uh, ra, uh, half Rakshasa demon, half snake, half Rakshasa. Uh, he transformed into this demon protector, a, a bouncer for Buddhism. He's one of the guys that we now can call in and help us confront our deepest fears. One, two, three. All right, here we go, you guys. Daily Dharma will. Clear out some of that energy. Yay, yay. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Plus our bonus. All right, let's do this. Aries, you got the Sakti of double Vajras, and she is reversed. This is oh, this Tara. Duh, I should have known that. It's green Tara. She is reversed. Um, in the 3D realm, this is a water sign type person, a feminine water sign, older, okay? And they're gonna have an emotional breakdown. Maybe this could be you, Aries, having an emotional breakdown. When this card shows up reversed, this is a mature woman having an emotional breakdown. This is a queen losing it, okay? Having a serious emotional breakdown. When this happened, uh, this when this card shows itself, I'm very, very careful about um, you know, with my feminines around me and with my own feminine self because there is an emotional breakdown that is going to happen. So I'm going to be very honest with you and warn you about that. She is also about um, that heart chakra awakening. Maybe your heart chakra for the feminine Aries is kind of blocked. Okay, you need to work on clearing that lower heart chakra out, especially the lower heart chakra connects to the lower chakras, which are the earthly bound chakras. They are not the higher heavenly chakras as the higher heart, throat, uh, third eye and crown. Those are higher heavenly chakras. The heart chakra, um, solar plexus, sacral, and root. Okay, the four lower chakras, they actually are your four earth bound chakras. So um, let's do a chakra cleanse, a, a bath probably. Um, she is a water sign, a water element. Okay, this, this Sakti, Tara, green Tara. She's got two Garudas sitting on her shoulder and she's got a, a double Vajra. Okay, the double Vajra, it could be like a cup. All right, it is the element of metal holding water. Okay, so the element of metal holding water, I am literally seeing a bathtub. Okay, now watch the water that you guys touch. This snow is not real, this shit is fake. Um, coming in for Taurus, 
Yo, Taurus, you got the Sakti of Lotuses, okay? This could be the Queen of Wands. And this is a passionate woman, a passionate feminine that is working with. This is a receiving passionate energy, okay? And a passionate awakening has happened and you put some passionate actions and now you're mastering. Uh, you're at the point where you are receiving the mastering of your passions, okay? Um, this is that feminine passion. Okay, the Buddha of this set, excuse me, um, okay, passionate creativity. Ah, there we go. That's what they were saying. They were like, quiet, quiet, quiet. We got it. We got it. The Buddha of this set represents the mastery of passionate creativity, okay? And action, passionate creative action. Thank you, you guys. She is passionate creative reception, passionate creative reception of passionate creative energy. Okay, this could be sexual energy, this could be dancing type energy. Okay, sexual energy is very creative. Okay, so this is the reception of passionate creative energy. And then as the Buddha, when you transform into the masculine aspect of this, that is the uh, passionate creative action. All right, so interesting. Also, she's about purification. She's got the two peacocks there. Okay, so we got two Garudas here and two peacocks there. We've already got lots of bird energy. Already have lots of bird energy. The peacocks change poison to medicine. So you're going to, this passionate creative um this reception, of pa this passionate creative insights that lead to passionate creative mastery in action, okay? I, that's what I just keep hearing for Taurus. Passionate creative insights and re reception of passionate creative energy. Um, so yeah, that's really interesting. Okay, keep yourself purified, all right? Keep yourself purified. Coming in for Gemini, we've got the 10, 10, 10, mm, 10 of double Vajras. This is the 10 of cups. This is emotional fulfillment. This isn't wish fulfillment. This is emotional fulfillment. This is more than dreams coming true. This is everything that you've been working so hard in your, with your heart. It's all like, it's really coming to fruition. This is the knot. And you see that knot? This is about those infinite connections. This card is upright. It's about all your soulmate connections and how great they are. Okay. And this is all your connection, all the people that are helping you out, all you guys who've been stepping up to help me out. Um, you know, cause from my YouTube audience, you guys don't know, you know, car broke down yesterday, pipes burst. Um, and you know, you guys know, I, I live you know, not paycheck to paycheck, but pretty much reading to reading right now. Um, you know, so your donations and your readings help. I have a 50% off special going on, uh, for my one hour readings. Um, that brings them down to $50. <laughs> Sorry to promote myself right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, but man, you know, like all you guys have been coming through and actually, like, you know, dropping your money in the PayPal and the Venmo, yo, like those connections, infinite. You guys are the bomb. You're helping me get my car fixed. So thank you very much. Um, and all you Geminis who are receiving that help, um, you know, from others, you know, be sure to tell them thank you. Tell those how much you love them that you were connected to, okay? Tell, reach out to your connections and tell them how much you love them because they need to hear it from you, Gemini. You're such an inspiration. I love you all so much. Cancer, work on your house, bro. Clean your house up right now. Hey, look, I'm a Cancer. What happened yesterday? House flooded. Okay, things are out of balance in the home. Things that may be out of balance in the business. Get your finances in order. Get your house in order because, you know, this has been a crazy ass week. I'm a Cancer. I'm talking to myself on this. Okay, so come on, Cancer. Let's do this. We got this. Here's our Seven of Jewels. Um, when the Seven of Jewels shows up reversed, or even when the, uh, the Morning Star in this deck shows up reversed, that is the Seven Chakras reversed. Do a reverse chakra, um, some inversions, um, you know, get your crystals, reverse them. Put a crown crystal on your head like this. Put a, um, uh, put a, uh, 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 put a crown crystal on your root, put a root crystal on your head. There we go crown crystal on your root, root crystal on your head. The heart chakra is still going to remain the same though. It's always going to be in the center. Okay, so here this seven of pinnacles reverse, the seven of jewels reverse. This is you um, ha uh, hitting the plateau with some housework, with some work work, okay, and really having to get it together because you're kind of uh, down in it right now, okay. I was up above it, huh, huh, now I'm down in it. Okay, we're digging ourselves deeper into a hole here, so let's get ourselves out of that hole, Cancer. All right, we got this. Coming in for Leo, okay? You got the bitch-ass three of swords, the bitch-ass three of Vajras. You're getting over some heartache, because holy shit. Okay, here you got hit with that arrow, right? <clears throat> oh, <laughs> it got me. And you got the arrow out. Okay, you got your mental healing on. We cannot get revenge, because that's what that second arrow is, is the arrow of revenge, of the emotional and mental turmoil that we experience as we are healing. Okay, as I was watching Battlestar Galactica last night, um, one of the dudes got shot in the leg, um, and as they were sawing off his leg, okay, all he could do to, to keep himself from, you know, dealing with the pains was sing.
okay? And he's saying all throughout the whole episode beautifully to deal with this pain, okay? So here you are dealing with your pain, Leo. Um, the, the, the second arrow that hit you, okay? That emotional wound, okay? He stayed awake, right? For this, I know it's kind of graphic. He stayed awake for that whole amputation. He's like, no, I gotta see it. I don't wanna wake up without a leg. So he stays up, he watches the whole thing. <laughs> okay, there's, you know, more wound, right? Okay, but then he has the emotional and the mental trauma afterwards with all the healing that he had to go through, okay? All the healing that he had to go through. Um, so this is you going through that healing, um, doing what it takes uh, to bring your mind, body, and soul together, okay? With these three swords, these three Vajras. Coming in for uh, Virgo, because that was Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Virgo. Okay, so here we have um, the horse reversed, okay? This dark horse, Okay, are you the dark horse? Are you getting ready to just come out of nowhere and pew, take it and take it? Is that what I'm seeing? I'm like, ooh, you're the dark horse. And they, they don't realize that you're an underdog. Okay, you let yourself stay and you let them think that you're that underdog because then that gives you that uh, that gives you actually more stability than you realize that you have. Okay, you feel like you're the underdog, but guess what? Okay, um, okay whether he's upright or, or, or reverse, he's still four feet down and, and totally stable, all right? So you are that... You are that horse, you are that dark horse, and you're coming in, you're gonna be like, Phew. ooh, see the glitch there? I saw the glitch, uh-oh, you're the dark horse, you're the underdog, and you're gonna come, you're gonna take this race. You're just gonna come from underneath, from out of nowhere, and you're gonna take this race, and you're gonna win it, okay? The rat race was last year, and that damn rat won in 2020, but guess what, this is the year of the ox, okay? So even, you know, here, you have some of that horse energy that's gonna help you, so draw upon the ox, uh, Virgo, uh, draw upon the energy of the ox, and that's going to help you stay true and steady to your horse self, and you're going to win this rat race. You seem like the underdog because you're the horse, but guess what? Guess what? This is actually a big year for Virgo, a very big year for Virgo. We're supposed to be like, act like Virgo in 2021, okay? Because Virgo is the dark horse. Virgo is the underdog this year, okay? But Virgo is going to come out on top. Virgo is going to come out on top. Libra. All right, so in my messed up reading yesterday, Scorpio got this one, but today, Libra, it was actually supposed to be like for you. <laughs> and it's interesting, it came back up. Um, your intuition is blocked. What are, you not, uh, what are you not seeing? What are you not receiving? Okay, here this too, this mother, this Queen Maya, she is the mother of the coven, she is the mother of the empire, okay? Uh, but Yazadora is the future empress in this deck. She is the empress in this deck. Here, Queen Maya is the mother. She is the high priestess of this deck. All right, and here your intuition is blocked. Okay, so what's going on? How is your intuition blocked? What are you doing to block that intuition? There's a message that, you, that is trying to come in and you're not receiving it. So how is it that you're not receiving it? What is going on, Libra? What's going on, Libra? You gotta get that message, you gotta get that message, okay? So let's do some things to unblock that intuition, okay? Um, it looks like it might require some heart chakra opening, okay? So if you have like some big ass heart chakra stones, here, we'll do some heart chakra opening for you. Okay, help unblock you. We'll also send this over to Aries, okay, which is opposite of you. And, and she's reversed too. Aries got a feminine card and it's reversed. So both of you are dealing with some heart chakra opening and blocked intuition. Okay, so here we go. We're going to help clear that out with some uh, Reiki and some light language. All right, and we're going to clear that heart chakra out with this big ass heart jewel. Love you guys. Yeah, straight from the heart. Okay, so yes, how are you blocked? Coming in. For Scorpio, 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 uh, you got the devil. Are you being a devil, Scorpio? <laughs> Here's the devil. And every time I pull this card, I've got to start talking like the devil. <laughs> what are you bound to is what the devil asks you. Okay. What are you being blind to? Okay. That's what the devil is asking you. Okay. What are you doing to hold yourself back? What are you addicted to? Okay. For I am the devil and I am within you. I am not a source that is without, that is on the outside. I am a source that is inside. Like my good friend, Michael Hutchins is singing, devil inside, devil inside. Every single one of us, the devil inside. Okay. So what is the devil inside saying to you, Scorpio? Is the devil inside saying maybe you're being a little too hardcore? Or is the devil inside saying maybe you're being a little too humble in certain situations and we need to set the angel aside and let the devil step up so you can pop a motherfucker in the head? Because sometimes, you know, they just, they'll pull that devil out, they'll keep trying to push that angel, and next thing you know, man, stop, man, stop, man, stop. And then the scorpion whoo, stings, okay? Because the scorpion, actually, I used to have scorpion pets. They're really sweet, extremely sweet. Okay, I used to be able to hold my scorpions, okay? And 
As long as I didn't provoke them, there wouldn't be any stinging. Is somebody going to provoke you and cause the devil inside to awaken? Damn, I sure as hell don't want to be them because a scorpion sting is not a good thing. Okay, so watch out with your sting today, Scorpio. Okay, don't let the devil overcome you, okay? Um, uh, yeah, yeah. Watch who you're bound to. Okay, watch your addictions, especially to emotions and situations, okay? Especially to emotions and situations. Watch your addictions to those, Scorpio. Coming in for Sagittarius. Okay, here's another dark horse card. You got two dark horses on there. It's the, it is the chariot card. And this is a Cancerian card. Um, and this is, you know, it's a, you know, so Cancerian water sign travels. You're stuck today. Are you stuck today, Sagittarius? I mean, we're all kind of stuck. This, this, this snow has got us like stuck like Chuck, right? Okay, so here you are stuck like Chuck. You can't get over this obstacle, okay? Are you having a trouble getting over this obstacle and you need some help? You, uh, the journey's like, uh, uh, maybe you're doing a little too much shadow work there, Sagittarius. Okay, time to step out of the shadows and into the light. Okay, re-guide guide your chariot to another direction is what they're saying. Maybe redirect your chariot and, um, and lead your horses in a, in a new direction, okay? Here, this is blocked movement, okay? And like, you know, with the state of affairs right now, a lot of us are blocked and it really sucks. Um, so, yes, and when Siddhartha went out on this journey, man, he learned a whole bunch of stuff that he didn't like, and that's happening with a lot of Sagittariuses. We're going on these dark, I have a Sagittarius note note. We're going, you know, we're seeing a lot of stuff that we just don't like as we're stepping out um, of our norm, of our comfort zone, out of our palace walls, and we're seeing what the real outside world has to offer us, and we're like, fuck that. So, yeah, fuck that, Sagittarius. Stay inside today. Um, coming in for Capricorns, the two of cups with the two of double bonds because this is two fish swimming together <laughs> two fish swimming together and they're going upstream to the mating grounds to the spawning grounds okay to their special pond these are two fish who are from the same species and they're allowed to you know they got to make it upstream and they're they're doing that they're making it upstream okay like two salmon and the running of the salmon and they got to get to the spawning grounds okay and they're having to go through whoosh, all the water whoosh, and the bears trying to get them whoosh, and they miss the bears okay or the bears miss them whoosh, and they're able to go under and over okay and then like you know let's see who else would be trying to eat them oh yeah i'm spear fishermen you know whoosh, Okay, and there's like people trying to spear him and catch him. Okay, but they still they make it through all the obstacles and they swim against the stream Against the stream and they make it to the magical spawning grounds Okay to the magical pond where their ancestors are from and this is you making those connections with somebody Okay, this is the m m minor arcana card of marriage Okay of two people coming together from the heart. Okay, once again that heart-to-heart -heart Connection that is shown right here by this big-ass heart jewel Okay, so here, let's let's give some extra heart energy to that heart-to-heart -heart connection uh, for Capricorn. Wow, love you guys. Okay, so may all of your relationships today blossom. May everybody that you swim with today, okay, may everybody that you swim with today be of the same species and be able to make it to that magical pond that you are headed to upstream. All right. Mamaki, the Sakti of Jewels. Yes, and she shows up for Aquarius. And this is all about getting the five elements together. And imme immediately, I'm like, the Sakti of Jewels, five elements. I'm seeing Bianca Rowland's art. You guys check out my good, my, my good friend, my homegirl, Bianca Rowland art. Okay, she has a YouTube page um, where she gives a lot of cool ass tutorials and she does this amazing art. I've got a five elements um, set that she gave me and or a four element set it's called elementals and um oh my god it's so amazing it helps me with my uh meditation so here is mamaki talking about yo get your elements and, and set now in, in in western witchcraft and such uh western techniques we have four elements fire water air earth okay in chinese medicine and in, in buddhist medicine and such there are five elements fire water air earth and metal okay so get your five elements together we're in the year of the metal ox um you know, so you can refer back to some of my videos Okay, using that metal um, ox energy. Okay, and this is an earth card. And here she also has two horses. Boy, lots of horse energy today. Lots of horse energy today because there's two more horses. So that's five horses total with the year of the metal ox. Eight, five, three are your magic numbers. So five horses. Okay, and here she shows up with horse number four and number five. Um, so there's a lot of elements coming together. So work things that, that uh, work the metal element and do not use fire in your protection rituals. Okay, Aquarius, do not use fire in your protection rituals. Use the element of metal. Cold steel is what's going to help you. 
coming in for um, Pisces, we have uh, the Four of Double Vajra, no, I'm sorry, the Four of Single Vajras, and this is Single Minded Meditation. Single Minded Meditation. Here we have the Dhyana Mudra. You guys have seen me talk about this before. Male, uh, right hand on top. Female, left hand on top. Both thumbs connecting. Okay, breathe into the uh, uh, sacral chakra. Really deep. And this is about that deep focused intention and deep focused breath. Using that single minded focus with the breath in order to overcome the mind. Okay? If you focus on the breath and literally just focus on the in and outs and the feelings and all that and just, I'm breathing. Oh, so cool. Okay? Everything else is going to go away. That's what the basis of meditation excuse me, meditation is. Oh, also this is the throat chakra awakening too. Okay, by focusing on that breath, you're gonna help clear out that throat chakra, bring that breath all the way down to the lower abdomen. Do some deep lower abdominal breathing um, as we do in Tai Chi, okay? Deep lower abdominal breathing. Now you can have it silent if you want, like in Tai Chi, or you can use the Ujjayi breath as in yoga, okay? The Ujjayi breath is that uh, uh, vocal breath where You can hear that, right? Okay, the Tai Chi breath is going to be silent because we want to hear our opponent. Like that. But we also want to hear inside of our body. We can listen for different things inside of our body. It helps increase our listening. Whereas the Ujjayi breath will help clear out. Okay, we clear out with the audible Ujjayi breath and then we receive with the listening breath of the silent Taiji breath. Okay, see how the yoga and the Taiji, they work together, okay? The, the Hinduism and the Taoism, and boom, coming together for this fusion, okay? So single-minded focus on the breath today. Single-minded focus on the breath. Back to our bonus card, okay? Doubt the tragic dragon feeds off hope and fear. And if you have any of it, he will come real near. Doubt the tragic dragon feeds on hope and fear. And if you have any of it, he will be right here and real fast, okay? This is a sword card. And doubt the tragic dragon, Rahu, the head of the severed dragon, is really fast and it comes to eclipse your sun and your moon, as we spoke about earlier, okay? Do not let your sun and your moon be eclipsed by your hopes or your fears. The sun represents hope, the moon represents fear, and Rahu can feed off of them both equally. And he can turn your, your hopes against you and he can amplify your fears. So when we keep them balanced with that emotional balance and mental balance, it does not give Rahu the chance to overcome us, okay? It does not give Rahu the chance to overcome our fears. It gives us the opportunity to overcome, uh, it gives us the opportunity to overcome our fears with the mudra of fearlessness, whoosh, okay? And we slap Rahu in his head, whoosh, 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 get the fuck back, dude. Okay, we grab ourselves a Vajra, whoosh, whoosh, okay? And we do a sword fingers Vajra, and we can cut Rahu's head off and cut it into little pieces, whoosh, 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 Send his ass on his way, because you are not going to mess with my fears today. Fuck you, doubt. Get the fuck off my deck. And just like that, he's gone. All right. So, uh, I'm going to put this uh, this one back in, but I'm going to talk about this card later. I'm going to do a, a separate reading on this, but we're going to actually do it. I'm going to do a draw, okay? I'm trying to keep my time. I'm trying to keep my time. I'm trying to keep my time. Who goes there? Eight arm Kuan Yin. What does Adam Kuan Yin have to say? Man, I've been dealing with Kuan Yin energy like all morning. I've been speaking directly to her. Um, and of course, here she is. She shows up, okay? Um, had some amazing Kuan Yin energy over the past few days really come out. Um, so, when stuck in anger, cultivate compassion. When stuck in anger, cultivate compassion. Okay, this is Adam Kuan Yin. Uh, where's the book? Hold on. Pause it, you guys. Ah, yes, just what I figured. This is the feminine aspect of Kuan Yin. Okay, the Adam Kuan Yin is the feminine aspect, the female aspect of Kuan Yin. Okay, Abilokhetsu's Vara is the male aspect of Kuan Yin, and Kuan Yin is the um, deity for our transgender community. All right, and, and um, in India, there's an actual, there's a transgender, what they call a cult. There's a transgender sect that specifically worships Kuan Yin. I come from um, a Buddhist a uh, Buddhist Kung Fu sect that actually, a Buddhist Kung Fu family, Kuan Yin Kung Fu, okay? Kung Fu Sansu of Choli Hoi Foot Hung was created in the Kuan Yin Temple in Guangdong, China, okay? So I come from the Kuan Yin family of Kung Fu. Okay, this goddess here, this goddess of mercy is also a super protector in Buddhism. Outside of temples, you'll have uh, Vajra I can't remember his name, and Kuan Yin. And they're both like guardians or bouncers. Okay, so we have Kuan Yin, eight arm Kuan Yin, card 47.
In another car, we met the male form in Chinese Kuan Yin called Thousand Armed Avalokiteshvara. She has many forms and names as she is an ancient deity usually painted as androgynous, which may explain how she can cross borders and change gender. Kuan Yin is a bodhisattva, a being who, out of compassion, doesn't enter nirvana so that they may aid the sufferings of the world. The Dalai Lama's spiritual leaders and Buddhist people are all said to be or the Dalai Lama's spiritual leaders of the Buddhist people are all said to be emanations of this deity. Kuan Yin is as vast as space. She appears over a lake full of tears. She wept when she looked down upon the world with all its struggles and disease and confusion. She holds to her heart the wish-fulfilling gem of bodhicitta, the desire to grow spiritually. That is her guiding light in her quest to help others. It is what keeps her focus on her path through the thicket of emotions and the darkness of all desires and dreams. On her right hand, she holds a mala for the... To, uh, for, for the reciting the mantra Om Mane Padme Hum, and other hands, and, and other hand holds a wheel symbolizing the combined aspect of spiritual teaching and benevolent governance. The third reaches out in, in the boon granting gesture, which means the gift of blessings to humankind. On her left, she holds a lotus representing the flowering of enlightenment. Uh, representing the flower of enlightenment lies in compassionate activity. A bow and arrow symbolizes the marriage of meditation and wisdom. A vase holds the elixir of immortality, symbolizing that enlightenment results in boundless life. There is an entire chapter devoted to her in um, the Lotus Sutra, where she is like a super heavy protector um, of Buddhism. Okay, so check it out. The, um, uh, the Bodhisattva Kuan Yin's chapter of the Lotus Sutra it has different types of titles uh, according to... Um, uh, her or his name okay I have somewhere he's a female or a male I have somewhere he's a male or a female I have six different translations of Lotus Sutra where you know they like really call upon her it's pretty interesting okay so eight arm Kuan Yin okay eight being another lucky number for this metal of metal year metal ox year okay eight five three the lucky numbers and here she shows up with her eight arms we got five horses and we have three decks that we're using Wow really eight arm Kuan Yin okay Five horses that show up, three decks. Let's see. We've already done that one the other day. We're not going to do that one again, you guys. Give me something we haven't done before. We just did that one too. Man, I'm tired of y'all. Okay? All these repeating messages for retrograde, sometimes we're not going to let them repeat. All right. <clears throat> like a noble horse. We're going to talk about the horse again. <laughs> like a noble horse. Smart, under the whip, burn and be swift. Like a noble horse, smart, under the whip, burn and be swift. Awareness is fire. It burns all that is wrong in you. It burns your ego. It burns your greed. It burns your possessiveness. It burns your jealousy. It burns all that is wrong and negative and enhances all that is beautiful, graceful, divine. And when the gross and ugly are burned, the great sharpness happens to your being. A great swiftness comes to your life. A great intensity, passion, a great totality and wholeness. Osho. Wow. And look at that. There's a sentimani burning brightly. Okay. The horse moving swiftly, okay, and steadily. Wow, craziness, craziness. Love these synchronicities, you guys. Love you. Schedule your session today. I got my, I need to get my car fixed special going on, okay? <laughs> Refer to my Facebook. I'll have some more details on Instagram, too. <laughs> Okay, no shame in my game. I'm not going to do some kind of GoFundMe. I'm going to work for my shit, all right? My success is your success. I love you guys. Thank you all so much for your donations and for scheduling your sessions and helping me get my car fixed. This is awesome. This level of community is amazing. Let's keep it going. Okay, help others if you can. Okay, help others to, to the best of your abilities. I love you guys so much. See you later.